The Madison County Health Department this past week was investigating three cases of E. coli-caused illness in the county. Indulge your beauty at Radiance Med Spa, providing the highest quality of skincare services customized to your individual needs. Offering medical and skincare therapy in a spa environment. Schedule your free consultation at 859-575-1856 or stop in 1024 Iowa James Boulevard, Suite B in Richmond. The first case was reported earlier in April, then two additional cases have been reported thereafter. We have three here. Uh, two of them are in children. One is in an adult. They are cases of uh, E. coli uh, STEC, which means shiga toxin producing E. coli. At first, there was no known origin of the outbreak, whether it be from certain foods or a certain area of the state. However, it has now been determined from the Centers of Disease Control that ground beef may have been the culprit for the over 100 illnesses across the Commonwealth. This was determined, according to officials, after testing of the strains in the affected persons were done to see if they were related. Any outbreak is just that. It's just more cases than you might normally uh, expect. Again, uh, there's uh, it, the, in the size, the size of the outbreak, and again, there are varying outbreaks in, in the, uh, the scope. It's in other states besides Kentucky. Cruz says the most important things to remember are that these germs can only make you sick if you swallow them and that the germs are killed by thoroughly cooking high-risk foods and, of course, washing your hands. E. coli is not passed as much on by food handling except in close settings like in families or daycare. The important thing for people to know is to make sure to wash their hands thoroughly. Also, to not consume undercooked or underpasteurized foods. And be careful with their food handling practices. Make sure things are cooked thoroughly. Uh, make sure, the, uh, for instance, if you have cooked meat, don't put it in a bowl or a container or, or on a cutting board where you have meat that has, uh, where you had raw meat before. Uh, when you cook meat, take the temperature to make sure the internal temperature matches your food thermometer. Those food thermometers are very, very handy. And again, always wash your hands before and after handling food. You would have to go to your doctor and uh, for a stool test, he, uh, which is a, a lab test he or she would have to order. And it is a reportable disease, so if it's diagnosed, we get the information on the case. Stay tuned as we also follow up with the health department about the recent hepatitis A outbreak. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.